Hey everyone! So as I promised, I'm here today with part two of our lowercase hand lettering videos. In the last video, we covered um, lowercase letters that had A senders and D senders, and we're going to continue on with the rest of the alphabet today. If you don't know what I'm talking about, then you haven't watched the other videos in the series, so I recommend that you go back and restart the play playlist at the first video, and I'll leave that linked up in the cards and also in the description of the video. If you guys like this video, then make sure you click that thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel to keep up with all of my latest videos. Hit that bell icon to be notified each time I am uploading a new video. So now let's get into part two of our lowercase hand lettering. So these are all the lowercase letters with A senders and D senders. And now we're going to move on to the rest of our letters, which are a little bit more simple for the most part. So we're going to start back at the beginning of our alphabet and go through the rest. So we're going to start with A. So for A, we're just going to start between the X height and the baseline, up, thin stroke, thick, down stroke, and I like to cross mine over like that and then uh, all the way up to the X height and then do my thick downstroke from here. So there's almost a bit of a separation there with the A. I prefer this to the downstroke right beside it. I find it gives a little bit more space and looks just a little bit more modern. I'll show you that again. So down and then back up. And then I sort of separate it a bit like that. So next is C's. And C is one of the simplest letters and one of the ones I don't like doing because it's I find it a little bit difficult. So you start your C on the right side of the letter as we do with a lot of um, our lowercase letters. So on the right side of the letter, in between the base line and the X height and sort of a little bit up from center. So you're going to start with a thin upstroke. Once you get to your X height, you're going to transition into a thick downstroke and then back to a thin upstroke. Well, that's probably the best C I've ever done so far. And maybe you're wondering, why do you think it's so hard or why don't you like it? It's so simple. Normally they don't turn out like that for me. <laughs> so that's C, so simple. And then next we're going to move on to E, which is a little similar to the C, only it has obviously an extra little loop. So for E's, you're going to start between your baseline and your X height, sort of in the center of the letter. So you're going to start with a thin upstroke going toward the right and up. So thin up. Once you reach your X height, loop it around to a thick downstroke and then back up to a thin upstroke. So that's really simple. And with an entry stroke, it just looks like this. Like that. Next is I. And I, again, is going to start between your baseline and your X height, but on the left side of the letter this time. So you can do this two ways. You can do an entry stroke going up, thin, and then down, thick, and then your dot. Or you can choose to just start it at your X height in a thick down stroke, like that. So the next letter is M. M's are fun. You can get a little bit creative with them, even though they're very simple. There's not really a whole lot that you would really do with them. You can add a little entry stroke and a loop to the beginning of it, like that. Or you can just do a simple M. And I like to sort of curve my lines toward the left, and it just gives it a little bit more style. So I start with a thick down stroke and curve it, then up thin, down thick, up thin, down thick. So you see how the curves really add to the letter. And then the N is basically the same, but instead of doing two humps, you only do one hump. 
So again, you can either do an entry stroke with a loop or you can do a simple N like that. And then O's, again, similar to the C, this is a ladder that I don't exactly enjoy doing, although it's quite simple. So let's see how this works out. We're going to start the um, same way we did our C on the right side of the letter in a thin upstroke. So right directly center between the baseline and the X height. So thin upstroke, thick downstroke, thin upstroke. And these O's are turning out, as I said, like the C much better than they usually do for me. I don't know. Maybe it's just a little extra practice I've had preparing for these videos that's helping. I don't know. There is another way you can do an O with a little bit more um, pizzazz, I guess. You do the same thing and then you have a little extra bit that goes like that. So a little extra comma almost. And you can sort of taper your thick stroke back up so that you have more space to show that little comma. Next is R. R is a bit of a strange letter. <laughs> and R's, their loop comes a little bit up past the X height. So when you start it, you're gonna start it sort of just at the X height, up in a thin upstroke, then a thick downstroke. And when you reach that loop, you're gonna immediately come over into a thin um, cross stroke and then back down to a thick downstroke. So I'll show you that in one fluid movement. So R's often look a bit like incomplete letters, I find, until they are next to other letters in a word. They're just a little bit different, I find. We have a few more letters to go. I don't have um, any more of these lines prepared. They're all blank from here. So um, I'm just going to imagine the lines are there and hopefully you guys can follow along. Actually, you know what, I'll, I'll do it up here. I'll do hopefully be able to fit the rest of the letters up there. So what are next is S. S is one of my favorite letters to do. I don't know. I, I mentioned this in one of the other um, videos. I don't know if it was, a, I think it was the first video, how satisfying I find doing S's to be. Um, and S is another one that will come up slightly past the X height. Otherwise it tends to look a little squished in between the baseline and the X height. So that's fine. So we're going to start on the left side of the letter going in a thin upstroke, thin, up into a loop and then thick squiggle and then thin back up. So that's your S. So much fun. <laughs> and then next is U. U's are very simple. You're starting on the left side of the letter in a thick downstroke. Once you reach your baseline, thin upstroke and then starting at the X height, thick downstroke, thin upstroke. I like to lift my pen as I'm creating the different strokes in a lot of my letters, but um, if you choose, if you prefer, you can connect them, but you will notice in most cases that your letters will tend to look a little bit better when you lift your pen rather than leaving it down. So you can do that. But I do prefer to lift pen. And then V's, you can do V's two ways as well. You can do a very simple V with a thick downstroke and a thin upstroke, but you can also do a thick downstroke and curve towards the left. So curve towards the left like this, back up into a straight upstroke and then a little loop, thick and thin. So that's a much more modern V and I tend to like it a little bit more because it just adds something to a very simple leather otherwise. And then W's are similar to that and W's I can sometimes have a tough time with, but um, hopefully I won't. I've been having a good track record on some of the letters that I find difficult. So hopefully I'll do well here. So 
thick downstroke, thin upstroke. And you can do a curl in the middle, thick, thin, and then a thick. See, now that didn't turn out <laughs> as well as I'd hoped. So again, let's try again. Thick downstroke, thin upstroke, and then let's loop it in the middle, and then up, and then a little loop. That's a bit better. Anyways, as I said, W's I can tend to have a tough time with now and then. So hopefully you have an easier time with these little guys. And then next we have X and X is very, very simple. I haven't figured out a nicer way to do an X, but if I do, I will leave it in the worksheets for you guys. So I just start with a thin cross stroke and turn it into a thick down stroke right away. And then you can either do an upstroke like this, or you can do thick and then thick. So that's it guys. X is the last lowercase letter that I'll be showing you guys in this tutorial. And I've given you, as I said, a couple different versions of most of the letters. And um, for the worksheets that I will have prepared for you guys, so don't worry, I will have worksheets for you. And I'll have those linked down in the description so you guys can pick those up and print them out and start practicing your letters like that. So yeah, I hope you guys have lots of fun practicing these lowercase letters with ascenders and descenders and without. So that concludes our lowercase hand lettering. And don't forget that I will have worksheets for all of these letters linked over on my blog so that you can print out those worksheets and practice as much as you need to. So look for that link in the description of this video. Next up will be uppercase hand lettering. And then after that, we'll have a couple more videos. So make sure you're looking out for those. And if you haven't already, as I said, subscribe to my channel to keep up with all of my latest videos so you don't miss any of these hand lettering videos. I hope that you guys all have a super awesome day and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.